to glare at them and say, don't touch me. Disgusting. <laughs> Let's see. And then I'm also going to bonus action heal. So let me mark off one of my healing potions. Okay. Reassesses its life choices. It's a spore servant. It has no life to assess. And yet somehow it's caught in the loophole of reassessing these choices. We're going to use the big widened eye for that effect. Did the uh, mind flare save? It did. Got a 22. Rude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm then just going to step over here hoping that it gives my friends more visibility of me because I might go down in the next round okie doke and scraw all the way out here you do see through the uh, the open access way here though yep and I have a uh, 60 movement with my flying so I'm gonna take flight and move 60 pretty much all the way to all right Exiting the exterior access battlement and uh, making your way into the cabin area itself. And if there are no yeah. objections, uh, very cool. Let me just double check. Perfect. You are just skirting the fog. The fog is in this square right here. I'm going to knock the dude uh, north of me twice. Okay. And uh, actually with that one. Later. Something to do with Crusher. Uh, when you score a critical hit that deals bludgeoning damage to a creature, attack rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the start of my next turn. Oh, man, too bad you killed it on the first shot, then. <laughs> well, solid. Then the second <laughs> shot actually goes to nothing, because I can't move. So that's my turn. Sure. All right. Uh, Zilzever, back to you. Zilzever, Lamble Hamble, gonna amble. <laughs> and shamble and stamble. Yeah, if you could just move me uh, closer to the fight, I'm not sure of the distance and what's going on, where I am, and who I be. Uh, you be here. And let's see. Scooch you up a 20. What's your moving, 30? Yeah, 30, and I'm good at jumping. I can oh. jump that. There's 30. So, uh, you can make it into the room. There is a giant cage between you and, uh, uh you're not even really sure where the action is. You can kind of see the ass end of, uh, this spore servant sticking out of the door. Uh, Guinevere and the Mind Flayer are inside of this room, so you don't see them. And the only other surviving Quagoth is currently lost in the fog <laughs> all the way over here. So you kind of wander in. Everybody's beat to shit. You're like, where's the action? I'm going to look at Al Alarumel and be like, where are they? Let me at them. <laughs> uh, Aramel, it's your turn. Um... I'm going to speed while he's trying to move over in front of this where the where Chef is. Um, 10, 20, 30, 
What? Well, crap, that leaves me... What? I'm just trying to get close enough to be able to see into that room, <laughs> but I... You counting that dead body is, uh... That would not be difficult, no. So that's 15. Mm -hmm. And then 25, I guess 35 to get to the space right here. Because moving through that bear is just a, a bit that's... of a squeeze there because the bear is already squeezed into an already narrow yeah. passageway. So half of that, was that enough for me to at least look in the room and see the mind player? Uh, no, you cannot see it from here. The only thing you can see is this, and kind of, uh, that Guinevere is in the room. The Mind Flayer is perfectly on the other side of the wall. I still have, like, two and a half feet that can move over to the left. <laughs> yeah, if you have two and a half feet, I mean, you can kind of, like, tilt your head around to see that it's in there, but you can't angle yourself into position to get an attack. Yeah, I don't need to shoot him or anything. I just need to be able to see him. That's the only prerequisite I need. Okay. Is, can I see him? You can see him. Then I'll cast heat metal on his uh, breastplate. Nice. Okay, that will get rid of the fog cloud now, replacing one concentration with another. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, two, a die, eight. Okay, I don't see that it gets a save unless it's holding the item. If it's wearing it, it just takes the damage. So two die eight. Okie dokie. We'll take it. Just made yourself a very powerful enemy, Smithers. For my turn so um let me do uh, I, I see i spent a lot of time thinking about that is a great plan <laughs> to find out that that's not a great plan um let's see um it's not a beast it's a plan so that, yeah i know Uh, let's see. Yeah, because, I mean, look, we've been stabbed by and beaten by our own companion, like, the last two game sessions <laughs> of different games. <sighs> yeah, I mean, All you're right. facing mind flayers. They're going to dominate you on occasion. You know. Why'd you stab me through the wall? The mind flayer made me do it. <laughs> mind flayer. All I have to say is mind flayer. <laughs> yeah, mind I don't flayer. know anything... I don't know where anything else is, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna kick back on these boxes over here and bleed on them. Uh, Drake's turn. Drake is going to. You are on a crate. Yeah, I'm sitting on the crate and gotcha. bleeding on it. Okay. All right. And then I'm roll. going to roll perception. Um, all right. 
we've got an action.